Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Morel Outdoors. Uh, in the last video we posted, it was uh, me and Jackson out in Arizona. And uh, so I just going to show you all what we, uh, when we show you what I brought, and uh, most of our stuff is the same. We, he brought a couple things different than I had, but now I'll just tell you about them. Um, but uh, we'll start uh, with the bags. Alright, so it's a. Uh, Alps outdoors just I don't know. Bought off Amazon. It, it was a perfect bag as far as having room. Uh, the shoulder pads are a little thin. That's the only complaint I had was right there kind of pinched my shoulder a little bit. But uh, other than that, it's good. It's got plenty of you know you get your your hip pockets, uh, uh, spot place for your spotting scope, tripod. I mean, it's got a little bit of it all. Um, but. Uh, and I could put my bow in here uh, and hold it on the back of the bag. Uh, let's see, there, we got a few things inside of here. Let's see what we got. First things, med kit. Uh, it has all kinds of stuff, uh, basic, basic stuff. Uh, I bought this at Academy for like five bucks. Uh, I did add some eye drops, uh, just because it, just in case, you know, get something in your eye. Be nice to have something to get it out with, and then uh, uh, ore gel. Added some ore gel for a toothache. Right there. Um, toilet paper in the bag. Um, brought this. Uh, if I can get it open. There we go. Uh, just a fold up saw case for firewood or uh, uh, anything you need that for. Uh, some flagging tape in case we shot deer, have a bit of marked blood. Uh, see what we see. Uh, some paracord. Uh, hunting license. Allen key, in case something happened to your bow, wouldn't be in the world. And we were uh, camping out of the truck, so it was a little, uh, I kind of went a little overboard with the stuff I brought. I mean, most stuff could have been in, in the truck. Uh, some, but do have some replaceable knives on my knife. It's a replaceable blade. I think I got some of them left over. I'll show you what was in there. Uh, knee pads. I knew we were going to Arizona. There's rocks, desert, cactus. Uh, so I had these in case we needed to do a stock. Uh, make it a little easier on you. myself. Um, some game bags. A long spoon for mountain houses. But I put my head loose in that pocket. Uh, oh, I did find a shed. Uh, it's an old one, I don't think it's from last year. I don't know what. Well, guess it's a bunch of little mill deer, maybe even a coos deer where I found it. Uh, we were in a coos deer area. So, found that, it was pretty neat. And, I guess that, uh, I'll have an extra headlamp in here. But that's pretty much this bag. So, in this tote, uh, I actually had everything fit into this tote uh, that I brought, except for we did bring a propane heater um, for in the tent. Uh, but uh, I was going to fit everything in here other than a bow and a I did bring a shotgun for quail, um, but uh, well, you only saw one quail the whole time, so could have left that at home. But uh, so start here. This is camp stuff, so 
this cup is supposed to fit here, but I put keep my fuel on there, so it doesn't fit no more. But I have a coffee cup. This thing's pretty neat. Just uh, it's a uh, Odo land, but uh, has two pots. Stove, and then this is fold up to where fork, knife, and spoon, everything you need. Uh, so you dip your gas on top of that, make it a little more stable, and then your other pot. Uh, but uh, that was nice. It really was nice. I have just a little camp stove. You need to heat something up real quick. We can do that. Now, um, Jean bottle. Gotta have those. Uh, let's see. This here is my sleeping bag. It is a uh, Teton five degree. Um, it was uh, five degrees, and it was. A, I love this sleeping bag. Other than it was a little tight on the shoulders, it could have a little more room, but uh, it wasn't bad. We slept in one one night. It got in zero, uh, and I would, that was one, actually one of the best nights of sleep I got the whole time. So, uh, but it was a uh, yeah, it's pretty nice. Uh, I wish it fold a little smaller, but uh, it wasn't bad for uh, truck camping. And then uh, sleeping pad. Uh, so this is a. Lost Nature sleeping pad, self inflator. Uh, it uh, it did pretty good, no leaks or nothing. Pretty tough. Uh, but there's that. And then uh, here's my glasses seat that uh, Teton, as you can see, actually worked really good for a pillow. You fold it in half. It's about right uh, for a pillow. Uh, I actually forgot to bring a pillow on this trip, so I tried using bulky layers and uh, everything else. It just didn't work. Um, here's my tripod. I have this. It's, a, it's actually, you put your gun in here. It's a uh, bog death grip. Uh, I'll show you this. So, this was neat. So, it, this is a pretty cool tripod. It's got different angles, so... You can go for shooting, you can go down to prone, and then uh, sitting, and then if you wanted to stand, it has the walk-in angles on all three of these. Uh, Bices down, you can loosen this up, tilts, and it uh, rotates. Uh, so that would, is a little heavy. Uh, it was actually really heavy for what we were doing as much as we were walking. But uh, for just a gun drop tripod, this is perfect. So I bought uh, this little deal. It, uh, you can actually see we can put it in here. Put it in there and then you can use it like a normal tripod. Uh, and the cool thing about this is it actually has a deal on here. You can put it on a truck window um, and glass out your window. And then uh, this is bog too. Uh, that was really handy. Um, then this is a Vortex Bono, Bono uh, attachment. Uh, I don't like this at all. It, uh, it's too big to fit in my bino harness, so I had to take it, unscrew it every time, and uh, put it, my binos up, and then when we get somewhere glass, I put it right back. Uh, so I will be getting a new one of these that will fit in my bino harness, um, but uh, it did, it got the job done this trip, but uh, kind of inconvenient. Um, let's, oh, here's my knife uh, and headlamp 
a beanie. Did have a beanie. That was nice. I slept in that every night. Um, and then, so this is a QU. I don't know the name. Let's see. It's a QU Versa. Um, it's a really light kind of outer layer. Um, it was, uh, it's actually really warm. It's, uh, it's not real thick, but it's, uh, it did a really good job uh, keeping the wind off me and everything like that. So uh, that was a bonus. And uh, I was really surprised at how well that did. I was kind of worried about that. Uh, then I have the, let's see. This is a Kuyu. I think it's the uh, Peloton 200. Uh, I love this thing. I hardly ever took it off. Uh, it's a really good base layer. If you're in, in, uh, in need of a base layer, I'd definitely go with that one. Uh, next thing is pants. Uh, these are the Kuyu Guide Pants. Uh, really cool thing about them is uh, they are fleece lined. Uh, really, really comfortable, really warm. Uh, but if you get too warm, they have uh, these zippers on the side. You zip that, and uh, it allows airflow to go right through the pants, and you'll cool off real quick. Um, along with all the pockets, unzip the pockets. They are uh, a uh, net material too. Uh, they're uh, but all this cool stuff was real uh, durable. I felt. Uh, I mean, I didn't have any problems. No, nothing poking. Uh, no tears or nothing. Uh, it's some uh, real quality stuff. I really liked it, and uh, I am nervous in first light. Uh, this is all warmer stuff, um, so I'm thinking about getting. Uh, I'll get first light uh, and you know just some un or un cool weather pants and uh, and maybe uh, another jacket like this in first light. And kind of see uh, if the quality is the same or which one's the better of the two. Uh, but uh, these were all, these were, Kuyu is very nice uh, for, so far. I have no complaints with Kuyu. Um, I have some thermals. Uh, just regular everyday clothes. Um, I guess we can go with binos. Uh, so these are my uh, Vortex uh, Dimeback 10 by 42s. Uh, they did really good. We didn't really, I mean, we weren't glassing no two miles or nothing, but uh, I mean, those deer we did see, they were, uh, I think about six, six or 800 yards, and uh, this picked them up just fine. I could see detail. Uh, that was real nice. Um, yeah, here's that. Let's see. Um, okay. Let's see. Got some wet wipes. Uh, kind of use these for kind of bathe yourself as we were in a tent, so there was no showers. Um, toilet paper for in camp. And then. Here is a uh, toothbrush, deodorant, toothpaste. Brought nail clippers just in case break, you know, get a nail start to peeling off, you can cut it off. Uh, baby powder. Uh, so, cool thing about baby powder, uh, any of you that have wives or girlfriend matter, you know this. Uh, you can put this in your hair uh, when you haven't don't want to wash or when you can't wash it, and uh, it soaks up on your scalp and uh, gets rid of all the itchiness. I guess it. I don't know how it works, why it works, but it does. It uh, keeps your head from itching, which is nice. Um, brought some melatonin in case you couldn't sleep at night. Uh, we didn't really have any problems with that. Um, there's that. Got some loose change in there. Um, 
Uh, this is a tent I brought. It's a Vecina tent. I only, it's a, so it's two person, it's one person was pretty tight once you get uh, your bag and uh, everything, your sleeping bag and all that stuff set up. It was, it'd be tough to fit too. Um, I slept in this, I only slept in this one night. Um, it's, uh, it wasn't a four season tent, so I'm going to say that, but uh, it got, the wind got underneath the tent that first night and uh, really got, got pretty cold in here. So, uh, so we, uh, and we, as much as we moved, we decided to just set up Jax's tent. We could both fit in there comfortably. It's like a four man tent. So we just set it up so it was faster to set up camp and be done and move out. Uh, but I mean, that wouldn't be, I don't think that tent would be bad for, you know, spring, summer, fall camping. It'd be pretty nice. Um, let's see. Uh, this is, oh, uh, knives, kitchen knives, extra fuel for the stove. Okay, so here is one of my lunches that has not been uh, ate. I'll show you what it looks like, what I packed. Uh, we had mountain houses too. Um, they weren't bad, they were nice. Uh, we ate them for dinner when we wanted a hot lunch. Uh, but just a cup of trail mix. Uh, I had two cliff bars, two different flavors so you try not to get burnt out on one. Uh, peanut butter to go cups. Uh, that was nice. And then uh, a couple pieces of candy for lunch or for dessert. Uh, sweet tooth is a big deal you'll have uh, and it's it really you really look forward to lunch and uh, it's uh, real nice. But the nice thing about how I did this is so you know we we glass it, you know, 9.30, roll around, just to kind of, you know, just more of a board hungry, not really hungry, but it's nice to be able to pull out a clip bar and eat, uh, not have to make a mountain house. So, uh, the day we did eat mountain houses, these turned into snacks. Me and Jackson would split uh, some stuff in there to get us through to uh, lunch or dinner. Um, This is uh, Black Rifle Coffees, instant coffee. Um, put two of these in this for this much water. Uh, it was really good. It uh, you can't tell much difference between this and at home. It's uh, very uh, very quality for instant coffee. Um, cutting board. We did have. Uh, some steaks and pork chops and tacos at night because uh, we were out of the camp or, or our truck, camping out of the truck. It made it easier to have uh, have some uh, home cooked meals in a sense. So brought that. Um, uh, propane for the heater. Uh, just a flashlight. Limiture. Um, last batteries. Uh, I brought if anything that took a battery, I had backups to backups. Uh, just keep us keep everything working to make sure we didn't have to go out at, back out to town. Uh, duct tape. Um, you can do all kinds of things with duct tape. And I did take it and I wrapped it around my lighter because I could put that in my pocket while I was hunting. And uh, you get a blister or something, you can use that. Uh, some bow wax and some zip ties. And uh, that pretty much covers uh, everything I brought. Um, like I said, I did have a shotgun for quail and I had a little propane heater for uh, 
for in the tents at night and uh, in the mornings it was nice, you know, you're warm in your sleeping pad or your sleeping bag, you just hit the hit that heater on, kind of sit there for a minute, but tent get warm, that way when you're changing clothes, it wasn't just freezing, you'd go straight out of a warm bed in the cold. Uh, yes, this is everything I brought. Um, Jackson did bring, he brought a uh, grill that was propane and uh, had a stove top, just a little outdoor camping stove top that was uh, propane powered. That was nice, we cooked all our dinners on those. Um, See, we had some lawn chairs that was nice. Uh, I'm trying to think if there's anything else he brought. Uh, I'm sure there was. Uh, now I can't think of anything else that's just real important. Uh, but uh, yeah, so uh, this is what the ba I would say this is the basics of what you need. Um, we got through, but it was. Uh, but we got through pretty good, but if we were backpacking in, I would want uh, some different stuff, you know, a packable tent and uh, uh, some smaller sleeping bags, sleeping pads. Just everything to fit in my backpack better because uh, it would have been tough to do it with stuff I have now. Um, but anyways, yes, so uh, I don't know, give this a like and a follow. Uh, and uh, if you have any questions on any of this stuff, uh, you can message me about it um, and I will put a description of all the things down below in the description uh, for what I brought and uh, be stay tuned because the next video we'll make will more than likely be uh, me and Jackson just talking about the hunt um, some things we wish we would have done different what we learned uh, oh, a handful of other questions just we're just gonna get together and just sit down and talk and uh, just uh, kind of give y'all some more information on things you things we didn't know that we learned uh, maybe help you in the uh, process if it's your first time going out so uh, anyway so uh, thank you for watching this video uh, like I said like and subscribe and uh, stay tuned for some more videos